Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I kind of want to do something a little bit different, as you saw from uh, the title of the and the description of this this video. Uh, I kind of want to do a, a Bloom's Technique Dutch pour style uh, mashup. I've never really done a Dutch pour, but I do know it involves a hair dryer and thinner paints, and you kind of blow it out to to get your cells. But beyond that, I, I don't know too much about the Dutch pour. But what I do have and what I thought would be fun is I've got leftover paint from the uh, the video, the last video where we did the experiment with the Arteza Ready Pours. And I mixed up that acrylic uh, or the Artist Loft acrylic flow uh, with the Floetrol to use as a pillow. Uh, I wanted to see if that, you know, would, would uh, work as well and it seemed to but i thought you know what i want to see if it actually works using the uh blooms the blooms technique ingredients i'm not familiar uh, with using that kind of a pillow on a bigger scale so <laughs> we're gonna go a little bit bigger today and my idea is i've got a bunch of paint that's been sitting around um surprise <laughs> but these are mixed with the infinity Josonia, my pouring medium that i I mean, I absolutely still love it, but it, it, uh, at least the infinity I have, it mixes up a bit thinner. So I thought, okay, it's a thinner consistency. Maybe it'll work well with the blow dryer because I am going to use a blow dryer, but I'm so, still going to use a cell activator. So it's kind of like, that's why I kind of call it a mashup just to, you know, have some fun with it and see what happens. So let's go get started having fun with that. All right. For this piece today, I have got an 11 by 14 standard canvas. And I'm going to run through all the colors first, and then I'll discuss the pillow. So I'm going to be using the Dioxazine uh, Purple Josonia. And all of these colors are just, they've been mixed up for quite some time, <laughs> which is another reason why I wanted to do this video, just to get rid of some paints that have been sitting around. These have been mixed with the Infinity Josonia Pouring Medium Mix that I uh, have, was using a lot before the uh, Valspar. So these are all infinity and some of the colors I had to guess on. So, <laughs> but, and they're a bit thinner consistency. This is the, uh, the, uh, Daxazine purple. And then I've got this little piggy golden peach, just a tiny, tiniest bit left. These are all about the same consistency. Uh, PBO Studio Acrylics, the iridescent blue-green, not to be confused with the green-blue. There's what that looks like. hope I do not find chunks in here. I think this next one, I believe it is the Primary Elements Hot Cinnamon. I'm 95% sure, because it looks just like this. <laughs> but it's you know, a wet pigment in here. And there's just the tiniest amount left. If I'm wrong and somebody else recognizes this color and it is not hot cinnamon, let me know. But this is what I'm going with. The next color is a mixture of the PBO Studio Acrylics, the iridescent blue black, and then I added a couple squirts of the Golden Fluid Turquoise Thalo. And this is what you get and then I have this modern masters the metallic paints this is sachet red and that's what that looks like and finally I think 98% sure it is the golden fluid uh, the naphthol red medium Um, just got a little bit mixed up <laughs> my little one ounce container I was using it for something but I don't remember what now the pillow I'm going to be using uh, if you remember in the last video where we did the uh, the experiment with the Arteza uh, ready pours and I was wanting to find out if maybe the pillow had uh, contributed to the degradation of the paint on the side so I mixed up a bit of the Artist Loft, the Flow Acrylic with Floetrol. And I had a lot left over, so I thought, okay, let's just use it as my base here. So that is what we're using today. I don't have an exact measurement of how I mixed it. 
like I said, in, and this is the consistency of it's very thin, probably about an ounce to an ounce and a half of the white paint. That's all I got. <laughs> so I am just gonna spread this out. Oh good, looks like I do have enough. I was worried I might have to put some of my other pillow on the outside, but that looks like it's gonna work out just fine. Let me just spread this out. So my idea, since I wanted to blow this out with a uh, dryer, is I was gonna kind of put uh, layer colors here, along here, and this, and then both sides like kind of diagonally, and then blow this way and that way and this way and that way to kind of get so that this is more a negative space. That's my idea in theory. We're gonna use those colors I just showed you and the cell activator. I'm still gonna put on a cell activator and then just kind of blow it like you would a bloom. So this is the uh, the Amsterdam Oxide Black and the Australian uh, the Australian Flow to Flow Trawl mixed at four to one. I really can't speak today. Maybe I should put music on. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. My mind is going a mile a minute. <laughs> Um, let's see, let's go right here. I want to save some for the other side. All right. Oops, I'm not calling out the colors. Sorry about that. Purple was the dioxazine, then the golden peach, then the iridescent blue-green. This was the hot cinnamon. This next one is the mix of the blue-black and the uh, turquoise golden. And then this is the sachet red. And I've probably got way too much color on here. And then the uh, Napethal Red, the Golden, just a little because this stuff takes over. This may or may not go well. <laughs> we are about to find out. I might actually have to mix up some more pouring medium too. Or pouring medium, cell activator. All right, so I'm going to use my Yeeho dryer and we're going to go. I'm going to do the other side. <laughs> I kind of like how this blew out just on its own. At first I was like, oh no, I am totally ruining this, but... <clears throat> I'm kind of digging this. I might spin it just a little because there is some excess color here and I might move it that way a little. But overall, I really like what's going on here. Okay, all right. I want to spin this just ever so slightly so I will meet you over at the spinner box and we'll see how this turns out. All right. Here's what this looks like before we spin it. I've kind of 
kind of moved this off center, um, moving it uh, more this way because I want the paint to go that way just a little bit. And I'm just going to spin. Oh. <laughs> Ever so slowly that way. Just to get some of this paint <laughs> off. Alright, yeah, I've got a lot of paint on here, and I don't know, that looks really cool. I almost want to just leave it and experiment and say, okay, maybe um, we see how it dries, because I love everything about this. I like how the, the purple is blending in, and all of this here is just unlike anything it almost looks like a really colorful coral reef i feel like i don't want to do anything else to it even though i do have a lot of movement here in the middle let's just move that over ever so slightly and bring it back Yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave it. That was it. <laughs> Hopefully it dries well, because I am really digging what this looks like. And this is the orientation that I like for it. Can you guys see it? Is it in view? Yeah. All right. Well, that was easy. Kind of. Here's what this one looks like. I'm going to get cleaned up, and I will bring you over for the flyover of this. All right, first I'm gonna start as a whole. I, <laughs> this is not what I had envisioned in my head, but I couldn't have asked for anything better. This, this blew out absolutely amazing. I, I, I'm, I almost wanna keep this for myself. That, that's how cool this is. I mean, it just looks like this really detailed underwater reef. It's just the coolest, the way all these, uh, this, the way the cells are, I, I didn't have anything in mind for the cells because I know using the blow dryer, I mean, it's it's hit or miss, at least for me, <laughs> whether I'm going to have really cool cells or not. But just the way the colors spread and blended together, and I am I have no words. <laughs> this absolutely exceeded my expectations, and uh, it went into a different route, but... I am super excited to see how this dries, hopefully with the extra amount of paint that I left on there because I didn't want to move it anymore. Uh, it'll be okay. So I will be back once it's dried to give you the dried results. And I'm back to show you the piece you just saw me do, and it just dried beautifully. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Here it is as a whole. And, you know, the pillow that was used, we used the... Uh, the acrylic paint, the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow with the Flow Troll, and overall it just dried, it dried really nice. Um, I didn't have any of that, I'll take my glasses off, otherwise I can't see. <laughs> I didn't have any of that paint separation. Um, I know a few of you had commented about uh, the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow having issues, I think it was 2019 or later. Um, I have to check my bottle to see I, I'm, I think it's earlier than that. I've had that bottle a while, but, uh, it, it dried really nice. And I mean, uh, because there was Floetrol in the pillow, uh, it, it kind of, it, it, it dries a little bit dull, but that's nothing that, uh, varnish or resin can't fix. Let me just bring you in. This is my favorite part here. I love that. I mean, it totally looks like an underwater reef. Just, I mean, there's just hints of iridescence all through in this red. I just, and it, it, it this this area had a little bit more paint on it. Um, I was a little worried about how it would dry and it, it shifted a little, but it just adds to the piece. You know, it really just looks really organic. So I'm, I can't be more pleased with, with this. Actually, I think this is my favorite orientation, but I kind of like it to the side as well, going this way. 
let me know what orientation you like. I'd love to hear, um, I'd love to hear your comments on this piece. This was a really fun mashup. As you know, as I uh, said earlier, I, I've not done a Dutch pour before and I wasn't trying to do one here. I was just kind of taking, you know, the concept of the Dutch pour and mashing it up with, you know, the blooms, the ingredients that I use and just having some fun with it. So this, this was really a lot of fun. And I think I am going to try it again, maybe with using house paint since we use the acrylic paint uh, as a pillow for this. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.